morning everyone excuse the state of my no makeup face i'm currently waiting for my hair to dry as well got a coffee in hand mm. honestly i am as you guys know addicted to coffee so i've actually just had a text from a guy who comes to collect my pieces that i sell on ebloggers um i've got two bags of things because i'm starting to attempt to clear out my wardrobe um well not clear out my wardrobe but do like a wardrobe switch over from kind of winter to spring which will lead me nicely into today's vlog i'm kind of going to be doing a wardrobe switch over sort of just having a bit of a sort through it's such a rainy day in london today um i actually need to go and do some errands like pick up a couple of parcels from the ups collection point it's about a 25 minute walk away but yeah it's tipping it down and i'm not really gonna go out in the rain right now so probably just gonna potter around another vlog you guys seem to enjoy these so yeah i hope you enjoy today's vlog i might even do like a little what i eat in a day just a little bit of a random mix of everything so i really hope that you enjoy today's video and hopefully when i come back on i will be looking a little bit more glamorous and not so pale with wet hair so this package has just arrived from sol de janeiro i thought i would show you what is inside i don't actually know so this is a real life unboxing oh i spy is that a dressing gown <gasps> oh my goodness i love these combs i've actually got this one already it's stunning so oh my god look at the colors of that is this uh triple buster treatments transform and dramatically repair and replenish dry damaged hair Oh my god, I'm so excited. This whole range smells incredible. Okay, that makes sense. Hence the hairbrush. And then we have, what is this? Oh, a little, like a hair turban. Feels really, really nice and soft. And then I think, so this is the press release. It's a hair repair treatment. And I think this looks like a dressing gown in this really lovely waffle knit. So... Thank you to the girls at Sol de Janeiro for sending that to me. So guys, I've done my skincare and I'm in the kitchen now. Ooh, it's bright and I'm gonna make some breakfast. Actually, 10.57, I keep doing this where I just eat super, super late. Um, I don't actually know what I want. Do I want baked oats or do I want scrambled eggs? Actually, I'm kind of feeling like eggs. So I think I'm gonna make some eggs. Um, so I will show you the end result. Thought I'd show you a little insight to my fridge currently. So that isn't mine. This is my shelf up. Um, I've got fruit. This, oh my God, literally is an absolute game changer. I got this in Tesco. Um, and then, oh, oh my God, yum. And then priorities. This actually I picked up from Lidl and it is incredible it tastes so so good um but i think what have i come in here for oh bread where's my bread gone mm, ah this um it's the dark rye sourdough bread from aldi just arrived in the post i don't actually know what it is but the packaging is oh god try and do this one hand absolutely gorgeous there we go i had to give myself a little bit of help i don't know what this is i haven't heard of this brand um dose and co pure collagen unflavored collagen peptides 
Um, so I think this is a powder or something. You put two teaspoons of powder in water or milk or even coffee and mix well. Um, and obviously collagen is great for smooth skin, strong hair and nails. Um, so that one is the pure collagen unflavored. And I think, is this a little press release? We've got, oh, dairy free collagen creamer. This sounds amazing and dairy free because I don't have any um, dairy really in my diet. And then the last one here is, <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm literally obsessed. This is the best package ever, collagen protein powder. I really hope that this is dairy free because I um, don't have whey protein. Ah, no, that's so annoying. It's whey powder. I don't have whey powder. Um, that's such a shame. I might actually give this away. So yeah, actually let's do a giveaway. I'm going to give this away if you drink protein powder um, and have whey protein. So let me just reiterate that point. The giveaway are run for a week, so you'll need to comment below. Put your Instagram handle in the comment below and also let me know your favorite protein powder flavor in the comments and um, we'll do a giveaway and i'll send that out to the person i'll contact you on instagram so leave your instagram handle and then i will message you and i will pick the winner a week from when this vlog goes live and i will send it second class recorded delivery via royal mail also forgot to say as well you have to be subscribed to my channel to be able to enter into the giveaway and i will be checking so yeah forgot to say that as this vlog is a kind of what i eat in a day these little recipe cards came in the package i've never heard of this brand before so i'm gonna have to link it in the description but look at these you've got a collagen banana bread that looks insane and then that's the recipe and the ingredients and we've got collagen pancakes we have salted caramel bites these look amazing i might even try those myself i don't know how many ingredients you need actually not that many and then we've got oh a vanilla and berry smoothie bowl um we have sweet potato and carrot soup. That sounds incredible. Oh my God, double chocolate smoothie and creamy hot chocolate. I've actually still given up hot chocolate for Lent. Um, I got these gifted. I think they were from Garnier and they're little chocolates and I've given them to my housemates because I'm still not eating chocolate. So yeah still no makeup on but to be honest this is an accurate representation of what lockdown life is like um i've got really really bad period pains so i've just been taking it semi easy i actually need to call the doctors because i'm gonna have the ied copper coil removed i've persevered for over 18 months of it and the pain of my periods every month is excruciating and now i just have the problem of getting it removed because of covid and the pandemic so fingers crossed i can do that um because i just literally want it to be ripped out of me so i'm gonna do that actually call the doctor in a sec i'm gonna put my washing on i've got so much to do here so i'm gonna go put that on now and um yeah i'm really gonna try and go for a walk because i've got those errands to run i've got a couple of parcels to pick up so i can oh, i've got a really itchy foot doesn't that mean that you're coming into money if you've got an itchy foot comment below if that is true i heard that somewhere i don't know where
I'd show you the current state of my wardrobe. So I put these IKEA doors on them just to conceal. So a bit of a mess up here. I've got some bags, um, some shoes, some trainers, some more shoes. Um, as you can see, this needs a good tidy. I've still got like leather trousers in there. I don't know whether it's still a little bit too early to do my switch over because it is still quite cold. But as you can see, I've got like dark and light and a bit of everything and my drawers so i've got all my neutral knitwear i think i might have a little sort through this because i don't think i need this much knitwear and then here i've got my colorful knitwear drawer again need to give it all a good fold and then i can't really open this this is my loungewear drawer this needs a good sort out and a tidy to be honest um i mean how many hoodies too many hoodies and then this one again is a messy loungewear drawer with tampons. So yeah, I need to sort that out. But for now, we're just gonna pretend that it doesn't exist. And then I've got a few bits on here on this rail, which I filmed for my YouTube video and also excuse the recycling there. Some bits that I have filmed, I think yesterday I did a styling video on Instagram in here. Oh, like this is like my beauty cupboard um this is mainly where i keep everything again i need to have a bit of a organized so there is method to my madness i think in here are like all my day serums these little baskets actually hold on it's cool these little baskets are from primark home um so these are my day serums i know to reach for them this i love that's psa skin um and then this one is my nighttime serums and then there's an eye cream there this um allies of skin the promise keeper blemish sleeping facial i love it so yeah i've got like acids in here and serums for night time this kills midnight recovery which is amazing um and then back here i have my actually see there isn't method to my madness what have i got here oh i think these are just toners there's a pixie glow tonic that i have never opened i think i got this on special offer like three for two or something um so yeah i've got my toners in there and then right at the back is my fake tan and then here um i think it's like night creams and like um face masks but again I need to have a proper sort through all of that but that's how i keep my beauty bits kind of organized and out of the way this cupboard i'm not going to show you because uh, it's basically pajamas and socks and underwear and i'm horrified um and then in here are my coats i need to have a sort through i've got like faux fur ones i think i might sell that one because i haven't really worn it and then up here <laughs> is a mess i've got hats i've got bags i've got some tote bags i've got some boots down here those are the zara ones those are old h&m and then in here i had a little sort through this yesterday so it's more like spring lighter coats and jackets in lighter colors so i've got some trench coats here um i've got my zara boots up there those are the new ones i don't know if you've seen them they're basically the same as the um not gray khaki i'll pull them out i love these they look like wellies um they came back in stock in my size and i was like i need them and then i've got some uh cream boots there i've got my black zara ones I've got my stuart wiseman ones here which i haven't worn in ages but i'm reluctant to sell them so i don't know what to do about those and then down here I've got well i've got my steamer at the back there i actually keep all my hair products in this basket in here just hidden um and then i've got these boots which are zara i got them in the sale i think they're 55 pounds and then my vasia trainers i actually use these shoe horns i got them from ikea i think they're a pound for a pair and they just keep your shoes in such good condition i've done them for the boots as well and then there's my little pamphus grass and my little tables and then in here 
this is a bit of a mess <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so we have some shoes up there i did actually dig out my oh, chanel sandals um i got some spare hangers i've got this new dress which came from revolve it's absolutely gorgeous i love it and then some newer bits that came into my wardrobe but then here we've got like uh oversized shirts jumper dresses and then i've tried to semi color code kind of um i need to have a real sort through because this is quite wintry don't really feel like i'm gonna wear it so that can go away um and then down here i have t-shirts long sleeve tops into shirts i've got some cardigans and then these all basically like blazers and outerwear got some color popping in there i literally love this purple one and this pink one from and other stories and then yeah all blazers and i've got a random cardigan there actually this oh i love it oh so nice um so i can't wait to wear that soon um and then i have like a pull out slidey shoe drawer there as well so that is my wardrobe currently <laughs> goodbye second coffee of the day i'm feeling so tired picked these up yesterday from tesco when i did a food shop because i'm still not having chocolate or sweets and these are the ingredients all of which i love and are super super tasty and um, so let me know if anyone has actually tried these naked carrot cake bars they come in like so many other flavors i love the cherry bakewell ones and i'm gonna have it with my coffee because i am so tired today this is done as well i'll link this coffee machine for you as well it comes with this milk frother honestly i don't know what i would have done this lockdown without it oh look at that Yum. <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> they're not the most appetizing or really nice looking but they do taste delicious so yeah and i can actually bite into them with my brace they're really quite soft so mm. look at this beautiful sunshine okay that's kind of blinding me now it is 20 to 5 and i have put on some makeup finally i feel like a new woman just gone for like a very natural i very fluffy brows my brows i use the is it refi or refi it's jess hunt's new eyebrow range which is insane i love it i use the medium brow pencil and then the kind of sculpting gel which really gives you like such nice fluffy why is my hand doing this <laughs> fluffy brows that like stand up and then my it cosmetics cc cream which i live by so i'm gonna go and pick up my parcels now i have just been doing some important emails just tying some loose ends before i finish for the day on friday i haven't quite finished yet but i thought it'd be quite nice to break up the day and um, i will show you what i'm wearing i need to take my recycling down as well um and it'll be good to get a little bit of a Walk, although oh, i really hope it's not gonna rain mm. look if you look outside it looks quite gray there i'm a little bit concerned that it might rain i'm actually going to check the weather app now oh 96 chance it's gonna rain oh for goodness sake <laughs> so annoying i'll show you my outfit anyway i just i don't want to take an umbrella i hate getting wet okay excuse the mess in the background but this is my outfit today this is actually my new trench coat Gemma reaches for pockets from and other stories i love it so i got this one in a small um it's got that like detail at the back there and i've really struggled to find a trench coat this season that i really really like this one's a really good quality it's quite a heavy weight and it's lined and it has a pocket in there and then i've just got it on with this apri ski club this is from girls know all i think that's their handle on instagram and then my adenola 
leggings these are actually the shorter version which i've decided i don't prefer as much because they don't sit as like high-waisted on me um and they're shorter i definitely prefer the longer ones so if you're like five seven and over i would definitely recommend that you go for the longer style so that was what i was gonna wear but i think i might just have to go tomorrow because i don't i really don't want to get wet um and i've just seen a magpie outside what is it one for sorrow i think that you have to salute them salute mr magpie <laughs> You guys probably think that I'm absolutely off my rocker. Okay, so diver. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the recycling down, put it in the bin, and um, maybe come up and make myself a tea and actually read a couple of pages of my book. This is, I've actually got a book club page on Instagram. I'll leave the handle on the screen here. It's at book club in the city. Um, and this book, The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. That's the book. I will leave a link in the description box. Is this month's pick. And I'm really not enjoying it. Well, no, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. Like, actually, there's part, well, parts of it that are very, very witty. I feel like I need to take my coat off. <laughs> Don't you feel really weird when you're inside? Side. Oh. okay this is not happening there we go coat is off I feel really weird when i'm inside with my coat on it's actually quite witty and i don't know a lot of the characters who are older generation it's set in like a kind of very bougie um care home i don't know like older people just remind me of my grandparents so i always have like a respect towards them and the characters just are quite funny um, but it's not a book that I ever want to like reach for or I'm not like oh I really want to get like cracking with reading that book tonight but I'm really trying to persevere because I know that it is the book club monthly read and other people have raved about that book I don't understand like for me I'm really really struggling um yeah I feel like last month's book was I, I just enjoyed it so so much and I think I must have read it in like four four days or something and what are we with a what's the date today 12th of march and i'm really struggling so i would have normally probably read like two books by now oh, i've got really really bad period pains. i'm gonna have to take some painkillers so i think i'll just go and make a tea and maybe make a snack yeah a snack will be good actually um but i'm here for this sunshine coming through i mean look such lovely lights i'm loving it I decided that i'm gonna make a smoothie as a snack I use protein powder, oats, um, a bit of peanut butter. Um, I usually put dates in. Oh, I'm gonna add a banana. It's gone really dark. A banana. I don't think I've got any dates. Mm. Mm. No. That's annoying. Oh, I actually have chicken left over from last night as well. Hmm. this is me on a daily basis i'm so indecisive now i'm gonna have a smoothie i really really fancy a smoothie so i'll put you on a little time lapse and show you how i make it I've just realized that I have broken Lent already. I have been using chocolate peanut protein powder. Ugh. Like, what an idiot. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So, I made this smoothie. It was oats, as you would have seen. I actually used gluten free oats and then chocolate protein powder from bulk powders actually they're free branded to bulk now but when i bought that protein powder i bought the 2.5 kg bag it lasts ages um they were bulk powders and they had the green packaging and now they've changed to very neutral packaging actually i need to reorder some they're really really good it's vegan um because i don't 
drink whey protein anymore because I don't have milk and whey contains milk powder and it always used to actually bloat me out so if you are looking to maybe change to a non-dairy protein powder that tastes delicious oh I'm so annoyed at myself I mean does that count does that count have I broken length guys let me know in the comments what you think it's really filling and i love it if you love peanut butter and you love bananas and you love oats and you want something like that's great as a post workout kind of snack not quite feeling like having dinner um or anything like heavy so yeah great alternative for me and um i can't believe i've potentially broken lent over a protein powder <sighs> i hope not it's now 22 7 and I kind of got a little bit carried away so I have been editing my like some posts for Instagram like my up home upcoming I can't get my words out upcoming posts I like to just have I don't know like a week's worth of content I shuffle it around but I use I'll show you what app I use so I use this app here UNUM and i'll show you so basically you can plan your feed i don't want to show you too much um up above but um yeah you can basically like swap things around so i'll show you these two upcoming posts here if you click on these and then down here there's a um swap thing so oh, look literally just oh god swap them around for you so you can have a play around and you can do that and by touching all of the squares I've basically just been doing that editing some pictures i don't really tend to over edit my pictures if i'm honest i might just stick like a very subtle filter on change the exposure brighten it a little bit um up the whites maybe sharpen it um yeah so like i said i don't really tend to do too much um but i was just having a little play around and um yeah it's almost seven o'clock i'm not hungry at all i obviously finished that smoothie and it really really filled me up but i'm feeling like because it is friday night and i am on my period and i have quite bad period pains i might actually order a takeaway you know treat yourself yolo fridays in lockdown i don't know about you but i feel like i live for these really little simple luxuries and there's nothing else to do and there's nothing else to look forward to like typically pre-lockdown my friday night would consist of like going for drinks getting ready to go out with my friends just the whole process of getting ready and having a legit like a drink and putting on spotify i just love it doing your makeup picking your outfit texting your friend what you're gonna wear are you bringing a coat are you wearing tights like literally i miss that sign me up 21st of june cannot come quick enough um i've actually got loads of instagram reels coming for, like to my instagram as well so make sure you are following me on my instagram i'll leave my handle here it's at Gemma talbot and literally everything revolves around what to wear on june 21st i'm genuinely so excited so i think i'm going to order a takeaway i will show you that and then i think i'll like take off my makeup get into some comfy pjs and yeah just chill i need some more netflix recommendations guys so if you have any pop them in the comments below for me i'll be really 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 appreciative for that um so yeah i just thought i'd check in i haven't had a chance to read my book yet i feel like i've got no neck here <laughs> um i promise i do uh so yeah i definitely am gonna order a takeaway i'll have a look and see what's on delivery and yeah i'm kind of in the mood for thai tonight really fancy a pad thai hello everyone so it is saturday today and i feel like i kind of abruptly ended yesterday's vlog i was struck with quite honestly the worst period pains and i ordered a takeaway i had a thai and i just was glued to my hot water bottle um so i'm gonna edit this video and hopefully get it up tomorrow but i've actually just been filming some content some instagram reels this is the aftermath of filming reels and then this is my 
little setup here i just had this outfit on this is from collusion via asos i love it so i've actually that video was styling cream boots five different ways so i'll leave my instagram handle here it's at Gemma talbot that will be posted on there probably sometime next week working on a saturday no rest for the wicked it's raining outside so i can't even go out so i thought you know what i actually really want to film this so i'm feeling a bit better today my period pains have definitely subsided a little bit so i am gonna go to Tesco because we are having house drinks tonight it's my housemate's birthday on Monday I might see if I can bake a batch of cookies for him as well also drop some around to my grandma on her doorstep tomorrow I feel like probably I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the vlog here really hope that you have enjoyed it sorry it's been a bit of a mishmash better luck next time if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm over 6,000 subscribers now honestly thank you so much for all your love and support i love you all and everyone who has followed my youtube journey from you know when i started i i appreciate the new and the old and the existing so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you very soon in my next video which fingers crossed should be wednesday i upload wednesday and sunday at least i try to anyway so yeah i hope you're having a lovely weekend and i will catch you next week bye <laughs>